Hi guys and welcome back to my latest video. Today I want to talk about how being a nurse is kind of like being in a relationship and I will get to what I mean in a second. But I had one of you guys reach out to me and you said that you were a new grad in the ICU and you just got off orientation and you had been working on your own for a couple weeks and you just weren't necessarily enjoying things as much as you thought you were going to. And I love this question because you hear all the time about graduating nursing school, getting your first job, and then, oh, everything's just perfect. I'm a nurse now and I love my job and I'm making good money and I've got, you know, this great career, which are all wonderful things and I hope everyone feels that way. But then there's some people who get to their new job and they realize, oh my gosh, this isn't necessarily what I had anticipated or expected. And that's a totally normal feeling to have. My advice to this girl was that being a nurse is like being in a relationship. And there's going to be some moments in your career where you're head over heels, madly, passionately in love with the field of nursing. And then there's going to be moments where you literally want to just run and get away from it because it's not going the way that you thought it would. And that's a pretty common feeling to have for every nursing job because nursing is just a really, really tough career field. You shouldn't feel disappointed when you, things aren't necessarily going how you thought they were. And I think it's important when we get in these moments to take a step back and one, appreciate the moments where things were awesome and you were just in love with nursing and it was so great and wonderful and to just evaluate where you're at in your nursing career and in that moment and where are your expectations and goals because a lot of times when we are disappointed in something it's because we have these expectations that maybe we're not communicating with ourselves or with others about how things should be going we had this expectation in our head that things should be going one way and they're not and so that's why we're disappointed. There's going to be many seasons of your nursing career just like there's many seasons of a relationship. There's going to be times where you're at your ultimate highs and there's going to be times where you're at your lows and if you're able to recognize that this is normal and there's lots of these fluctuations in your career or relationship, I guess this is like advice to both, and realize that that's normal, then it's a lot easier to cope with knowing that this is just probably a temporary feeling. And if it's not a temporary feeling, then kind of reevaluating where you are and maybe you should be doing something that could make you happier. Not necessarily saying stop being a nurse, but maybe a different type of nurse or taking a break or different career field or different sector or whatever of nursing. There's just so many different types of nursing, which is one of the greatest parts about being a nurse is like, if you're burnt out one area, you can do something else. One last little tidbit of advice that I like to give um, people, especially if you're new to nursing and you're a new grad and maybe it's your first big career, is that nursing is wonderful and while when you start nursing you're going to have these ups and downs and you're going to be like super excited about starting, um, remember that when you come home, you are, although you're still always technically a nurse, what you come home to is really, truly what matters. I see so many people, and even myself, when I became a new nurse, I mean, I know this is totally off topic, but I just am super passionate about this subject. When I became a new nurse, I like dedicated my life to nursing. I was picking up extra shifts, doing every single class possible, and that was wonderful. And, th and for that phase of my life, that was totally fine. And then over time, I just realized, you know what? I need a healthier life balance, work-life balance. I want to go to work and do my job and come home and enjoy my life. And that's more of where I'm at now. I love my job. I love what I do. But at the end of the day, and maybe this is harsh to some people, none of those patients that I take care of matter more than my family and the people that I come home to and that care about me. And that may sound harsh, but if you can't come home and rejuvenate and take care of yourself and it's really hard to go back to work and take care of other people and while I love my job and there's many people that I've taken care of who have influenced me in one way or another when I leave work that's I've left work and I'm home and I'm spending with the people that really truly do matter most 
And so I know this is kind of just a random off topic little piece of advice, but it's important to remember that um, because as nurses we get so wrapped up in taking care of others that we come home and we have nothing left to give the people that really matter. And really, who should we be giving ourselves to? The people that are we're closest to in our lives. So anyways, that's my little bit of advice for you guys. Thank you for the um, person that asked that question about not enjoying their first couple weeks off orientation and just stick with it. It's going to get better. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are in, your, in your shoes. So I wanted to make a video on it. But thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.